Here's Gary Wagner with WFG4X.com, your daily market update for Forex Gold. It is July the 8th, and this is the Daily Report. Gold is currently trading off approximately 5 to $6, trading at 1197.58 currently. As you can see, I've put up our Elliott Wave lines. We are currently and still trading lower and in wave A of our corrective phase. We spoke about the other day of an aggressive buy signal based on a piercing line that was these two candles right in here. It's a two-day pattern. I also said that conservative wait, uh, traders should wait one day for confirmation. Confirmation would be on the following day to get a red candle, which we do not, it's black, with a higher open and a higher close and of course higher high and a higher low. The higher low and the higher high and the red candle being the most important. So for conservative traders, we are absolutely on hold. On aggressive traders who took the call, we should be in somewhere around 1203. And my recommendation on that is obviously uh, sit and maintain the position. I was emailed the other day and I was asked whether I consider myself an aggressive or a conservative trader. My belief in terms of my trading style is I am a conservative trader in an aggressive market. So that when I put up uh, calls, whether uh, they be aggressive or conservative, my tendency is normally towards the conservative side. Now. In terms of this A wave, in terms of the length that we have, the length right now is still pretty solid. This is the uh, the amount that I believe you're going to see when we compare it, unless it goes into what we call a, a very, very hard sell-off, which I personally don't believe we have seen at this point. The second thing that I do like is when we looked at our Fibonacci, our Fibonacci uh, Retracement definitely took us to 1187. Now, we did have a higher low today. So it does look at least on a tentative basis that we have found some support. Another two-day pattern that I have seen in the market today that's giving me a indication uh, that the market may be attempting to bottom here is this two-day pattern that is called tweezer bottoms. Tweezer bottoms are when you have equal or very, very close lows. They're also called matching bottoms. And so that is also a support indicator when you look at candlesticks. So that although the market is trading off, as I said, uh, between 5 and $6 today, and I am asking conservative traders to wait until we get another indicator. I do believe that we have some substantial information technically, which is indicating that we are looking at a potential end to this wave A. Now, my belief is that that is simply going to be followed by a impulse wave that could take us, whether it be to 1212 would be one scenario, 1224 I see a little bit less likely right now and then the big question is whether or not we're going to witness what is called a flat bottom in our correction which would take us back to this 1188 something like this or whether it is what is known as a zigzag or a standard corrective wave in which that C wave is typically the longest of the three waves and that would take us to a new level and the Fibonacci level of course the next level of retracement off of this wave 5 is to match the low at wave 5 in other words a retracement of 100 percent or putting us back at zero. Now according to uh, Jim Wyckoff over at Kitco News uh, he believes an increase in investor, investor risk appetite has pulled some buying interest away from gold which is a safe haven asset during times of heightened investor uncertainty. And he says, however, higher crude oil prices did limit the downside pressure on gold.
The U.S. dollar index traded slightly higher Thursday morning, while the euro currency was also trading slightly higher. The U.S. stock market indexes were trading mixed, and none of those key outside markets provided much trading direction for gold on Thursday. So that today we are witnessing um, a slightly lower day. We do have a higher high and we do have a higher low. We also have a inside day in that our open to close is lower and that is within the body of the prior day. So traders will have to see what Friday brings and how the market wants to trade direction as we go into the next week's trading activity. This has been Gary Wagner with WFGForex.com wishing you, as always, good trading. Bye-bye. We'll talk to you tomorrow for the weekend review.